Let's stand to receive the bride. Dearly beloved, we are all gathered here together today in the sight of God and in the face of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is commended to, the, to be honorable among all men, and therefore is not by any to be entered into and advisedly or lightly, but reverently, discreetly, advisedly, and solemnly. And so we are here because these two persons love one another so much and they want to spend the rest of their life together. And into this holy estate, these two persons present here now come to be joined. If any person can show a just cause why they may not be joined together, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. This is where I'm supposed to pause both legally and ecclesiastically <laughs> to ask if you did not hear me, if there is any impediment against, uh, I, I use the legal word there. If there is any impediment against this wedding, please raise it now or forever hold your peace. And because I cannot wait any longer, <laughs> I have an interest in this horse too. <laughs> so, amen somebody, praise the Lord. Amen. amen. Uh, there is nobody, so we will continue. Marriage is a union to one husband and one wife in heart, heart, in body, and in mind. It is intended to be for mutual joy and for help and for comfort given uh, to one another in prosperity as well as in adversity. But more importantly, it is a means through which a stable and loving environment may be attained. Through marriage, David and Cecilia will make a commitment together to embrace their dreams and to face their disappointments and to realize their hopes and accept each other's failures. You, David, and you, Cecilia, you will promise today to one another to aspire to these ideals throughout your lives together through mutual understanding openness to one another sensitivity to each other and we are all gathered here today to witness this beautiful ceremony this marriage of David and Cecilia and this occasion marks the celebration of their love and commitment which this man and this woman are beginning together. So I want to ask, who gives this woman in marriage to this man? Me hear one more time? Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, who gives this man in marriage to
to this woman? We do. We do. <laughs> I said I have an interest too. I'm not just ministering. <laughs> so I want to welcome all guests today. And I want to invite you, by the way, uh, marriage is a Christian service. And so it's a worship service. So will you now join us in a moment of worship as we invite the presence of God and the Holy Spirit to come and begin with us. Uh, Priscilla will lead us in that moment. Amen. Amen. So we're joining two cultures. So I will sing in English and in Swahili. So you can just join me and connect your hearts as we praise the Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Hey, we thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Asante Yesu. Asante Yesu. Asante sana bwana Yesu. Asante sana bwana Yesu. Thank you, Jesus. Asante Yesu. Asante Yesu. Asante sana bwana Yesu. Asante sana bwana Yesu. Yeah, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Yes, indeed, God, we thank you. We thank you for these two lives gathered here. We thank you, Lord, that when they were born in different continents and different times to different families, different nationalities, you knew and you destined them to be family. We thank you because you preordained things long before they happened. Yes. And on the day that David was born, on the day that Cecilia was born, yeah. you ordained this day. And Lord, we would have done this sooner. But Lord, there is an epidemic all over the world. And we have felt we cannot wait any longer. And that's why we have constrained ourselves. And we remember the hundreds of people who would have wanted to be here. But they are not here. Lord, as we embark into this ceremony... We want to ask for the spirits of the family members who could not be here today. We remember them, Lord. And as we say amen together, wherever they are and when they will be washing, we pray that their spirits will join with us yes. in saying amen to this union. There are many church ministers and, and others who would have wanted to be here. Indeed, Rema Gospel Church would have wanted to be here. We bless each one of them. And as we say amen, we pray that theirs and ours may go together and become acceptable to thee. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. I come from a tradition where amen is very important. I want to say that the reason we gather is so that we can be witnesses and witnessing is saying amen. Amen is saying yes. That's the way it is. So I want to solicit you a good amen when I ask it. <laughs> if I say in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, I'm trusting that all of you have been in some Christian church. So you should know those three names. <laughs> and if I say them, I want to hear all of us say a good amen. <laughs> Okay, let me t try. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much. That's what I want. <laughs> Amen. Bless the Lord. So by gathering together here, 
Sometimes I think I'm young. <laughs> but my eyes remind me otherwise. By gathering together all the wishes and happiness of our, uh, and our fondest hopes of David and Cecilia. We assure them that our hearts are in tune with, with yours. Yes, I'm afraid. I was afraid of that. These moments are so meaningful to all of us. I want you to know that. Can you turn around and look at these faces? Just, just look. Look at all of them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know this moment is important to you. But it is also very important to us. So there is no greater thing here on earth than for when two human souls feel that they are joined together and strengthen each other in all labor and to minister to each other in sorrow, to share with each other in all gladness. Marriage is an act of faith. A personal commitment as well as a moral and physical union between two people. It has been described as the best and most important relationship that can exist between them. Marriage is a construction of their love and their trust together into a single growing energy of spiritual life. Marriage is a moral commitment that requires and deserves daily uh, attention. Marriage should be a lifelong consecration of the idea of loving kindness, backed with the will to make it happen. So we will now enter into the section where you, uh, you will exchange the vows. And I want to begin with you, David. Huh? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Uh, I'll begin with you, and then I'll go back to you now. Okay? So we'll do that together. The congregation now can sit down. It is their day, though, so that they are going to stand. <laughs> Amen. All right, David. Do you, David, take Cecilia to be your wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, keep her in sickness and in health, for richer and for poorer, for better or for worse, in sadness and in joy? to cherish and continually bestow upon her your heart's deepest devotion. Forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto her as long as you both shall live. Do you, David? I will. Thank you. Thank you. And now, ma'am. Do you, Cecilia, take David to be your husband? To live together after God's ordinance in holy estate of matrimony, will you love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse, in sadness and in joy, to cherish and continually bestow upon him your heart's deepest uh, devotion, Forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto him as long as you both shall live. Will you, Cecilia? Yes, I will. Thank you. Thank you. Now, we are going to exchange the vows. I'll begin with you, David. Audibly, just like I trained you yesterday. <laughs> or was it two days ago? I, David. I, David. Take you, Cecilia. Take you, Cecilia. To be my wife. To be my wife. To hold and to, to have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. 
in sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. From this day forward. From this day forward. Until death do us part. Until death do us apart. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and the congregation said. Amen. 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 All right, Cecilia, your turn. Just like at the counseling. <laughs> I, Cecilia. I, Cecilia. Take you, David. Take you, David. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. From this day forward. From this day forward. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And the congregation said. Amen. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Now I will join hands and, and pray. Uh, do not have an assistant here. So. Amen. Can you give me your hands? This is the most important part. Hallelujah. Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus. For to join these two in holy matrimony. And now, Lord, which hand do you want to hold? Is this this way? Yeah. Okay. And now, Lord, we join them together asking that your Holy Spirit will be here so that there can be a vicarious and sacramental action happening in the lives and the souls of these two. That you will weld them together like you welded Adam and Eve. And that Lord, you will be with them the rest of their life's journey in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And the church said, Amen, amen, and amen, and amen. Now, what I want you to do is to hold hands, number, you know, facing me now. Yeah, like that. Thank you so very, very much. I really appreciate uh, if I can be able to go back to my text. Amen. Now, do you have, uh, is there a token of their love that uh, you all have? Oh. Lost, but it was no. <laughs> you trusted this man? <laughs> Amen. Ooh. Wow. Careful the, the black one is fragile. Hallelujah. Father, we want to thank you for these tokens of the love of these two. Love comes from you. For greater love has no man done this, than a man lay down his life for his friends. You lay your life for us, and you teach us to love one another that way, to love our wives that way. And we thank you for these tokens of love, and we bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So David, will you take your uh, hearse? Yes. And Cecilia... All right, that's good. We're doing good. So David, you'll start, okay? So you're going to repeat up after me, and uh, please don't do zoop <laughs> slowly. This is a ceremony, <laughs> David. So you will repeat after me as you place uh, this ring on Cecilia. 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 You are now consecrated to me. You are now consecrated to me. As my wife. As my wife. From this day forward. From this day forward. And I give you this ring. And I give you this ring. As the pledge of my love. As the pledge of my love. As the symbol of our unity. As the symbol of our unity. And with this ring. And with this ring. I the wed. I the wed. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, Cecilia. You have the ring? Mm -hmm. All right. She's like, mm-hmm, I got it. <laughs> Amen. All right. So, 
David. David. You are now consecrated to me. You are now consecrated to me. As my husband. As my husband. From this day forward. From this day forward. And I give you this ring. And I give you this ring. As the pledge of my love. As the pledge of my love. And as the symbol of our unity. And the symbol of our unity. And with this ring. And with this ring. I the wed. I the wed. Amen, everybody. <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. Woo! Amen. Amen. This is this this is this is amazing. Uh, Pastor Sharp would have been here, but he's not here. But I, I, and that's why I took long to explain what marriage is about. I talked about commitment. You must be committed to each other. One of the things that gives marriage longevity is commitment. David. You have heard what I have said many times. My grandfather, your great-grandfather, told me one day to never show my wife the inside or the contents of my wallet. My father, who raised me, was a minister. He said to me, your grandfather did, never lie to your wife. He said, it's a foolish thing to do because you're lying to yourself. I had two conflicting advices. One from a traditional African man who did not know the Lord, who was not a Christian at that time. The other one, your grandfather, who was a minister of the gospel. I chose my father's advice. I've never lied to that woman your mother. You will never, ever lie to this one. That's a tradition. You will speak the truth to her. You will honor her with your words. You will honor her with your body. Your body belongs to her and to no one else. Cecilia, we've talked about these things. We don't need another sermon. This man is your man now. I heard you talk about birthday plans. As a family, we always travel to DC. To DC. Is it called DC? <laughs> <laughs> September the 16th, whatever that weekend is, my family always, as a tradition, we have always gone to DC for David's birthday for the last how many years that you have been there? How did I feel when you said, that y'all are going to Austin. Surprise. <laughs> oh, ah, I, I, okay, there you go. Surprise. But let me weave it in my sermon. When you said those words to me, it dawned on me. That's her husband. Not just your son now. And that's important, baby. This is your man. You can change those family, former family plans <laughs> because this is your man now. And now we have to ask you, oh my God, <laughs> can we come <laughs> to my son's birthday? Is this really happening? <laughs> oh yes, it is. And it is the truth. And we mean every bit of it. You are a family. Do things together. God will bless you. Don't let your stuff pour to us. We have enough trouble. <laughs> I don't want you running to me every time something is happening. Don't do that. You want them to be running to you? The, the, stove, is not, the stove is not working. The air is not working here. Please, solve your own problems. We have, we, we have enough. Amen? <laughs> Learn to finish your resolve issues within you too before they pour to me or to your mama and, and, and you know, all of us. We, we, we're not saying that we no longer listen to you anymore. No, 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 no. You still are our kids. But we want you to learn how to resolve things and work things out to the glory of God. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And everybody said... Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name uh, of the Lord.
Now, here's what I, I want to do. I want to pray for these. I don't like uh, long ceremonies, uh, but I just want to uh, pray and close towards the end. In as much as David and Cecilia have consented together in marriage before this company of friends and family, and have pledged their love and faith and declared their unity by giving and receiving a ring, we pray now, O oh Lord, Come join these now as you joined Adam and Eve, that they may too from today henceforth be one body in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And the church said, Amen. Amen. And the Bible says, therefore, what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. And so... By the power vested in me by the Almighty God as the minister of the gospel and by the state of Texas, I now pronounce you husband and wife and may your days be good and long upon the earth. Amen. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> And now, oh, what a joy. <laughs> Whew, what a joy. I want now to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Wachira. Mm -hmm. Give them a good hand now. <laughs> amen and amen and amen. How many of you know that they are husband and wife? And this paper from the state does not make them husband and wife. It's, they are now husband and wife, but there are legal requirements, and therefore we are going to do that now. It's your one. Is it good? Here it is. It's Lego. <laughs> Look how beautiful it is. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm going to get to both of you. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. I don't know about, I, I can see Oscar. <laughs> but, but, but by the way, Oscar here and uh, Mrs. Olausen, the parents of Cecilia, are excited. Your uncle, Cecilia, look at him. He's very, very excited. <laughs> Look at your cousins, uh, some mem uh, 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 members of Rema family of that pew, and your friends at the back. Let's give Jesus, yeah, let's, hey, hallelujah. Blessed, blessed. I want to pray so that we can uh, uh, dismiss right now. Uh, uh, and before we do that, uh, actually, pastor, can you come? This is uh, Reverend Dr. Kimadi, another parent figure in my family. I want us to pray for this couple. All parents. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Come right close to me, my brother. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I want to tell you how joyful I am for Cecilia and David, my children. I've watched them grow up. And what a joy for a parent to watch their children grow up so that they can have their own family and cut those ties, the ties that made them celebrate the birthday in your house so that your <laughs> wife may decide where that birthday is going to be celebrated. <laughs> Fired. I know, I know. <laughs> there is no greater joy than that. Yeah. Because you have now become your own you have now your own family, and that's how it was intended. Because the Bible tells us very clearly when God created Adam, and he created everything that we desire in this world, money, gold, animals, everything. Adam owned it all. And God looked at him, he was so sad. 
I'm saying this dude cannot make it. Mm. <laughs> this one, David cannot make it. I have to go back and make a suitable help. God is saying that, God affirming you, that all this we desire in the world does not make you happy. Until God thought and crafted her because she is a suitable companion. And when, when the Bible talk, talks about the one the companion, it means one who cares deeply about you. Mm. When you hurt, they hurt. When you speech, they say, ouch. When you laugh, they jump with joy. That's a sweet of a companion. Now you are what God has pronounced you. And we as family members and the members of the community, your action today has made us relatives. This is your brother. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is your sister. Mm -hmm. Do you see what you have done? People who would meet anywhere and they would say, mm, I saw a guy that there, a short guy or a tall guy. No, no, it will not be that way. They will be describing themselves now with the relational ones. Mm, mm. Hallelujah. Mm. That's how deep it goes. Yes. So as we pray, I want you to know that this goes beyond you. It goes to the eternity, to creation. And it goes even to a time that God will take you home when you are 120 years old. It goes that far. So let's pray. Father, in the name of our own Jesus Christ, mm. let's stretch our hands to this yes, couple. Lord. Father, we lift up Cecilia and David before your throne. Mm. We bless them because we know that you bless them even before they, they were created, mm. before they were formed. Mm. You knew them. And now, oh God, you have led them into taking this action of making a life commitment to one's one another. May this marriage be blessed. We know that as we gather here, we are gathering in one hour's event, a wedding. But this one hour is starting a long time mm. event that we call marriage. May their marriage be blessed. May they, oh God, find you in their own home. And may their home draw people closer to you, oh Father. So that everyone that you bring into their life may see you, Jesus, in the way they relate with one another. May this relationship, oh Father, be a blessing to their families, the families they come from, the people that they know and those that they don't know now. May this relationship, oh God, go to the eternity where you have created mansions for them when they leave this world. Mm. May you bless them with the children. May their home have that joy of crying babies. Mm. May their home have that joy of, of children learning from school saying, I am going home. May they have children that will possess their home and say, come to my house. May they have that joy that you have bestowed upon them. We bless them mm -hmm. and we pray that, oh Father, we will receive these joys even as we visit with them and as, as they visit with us. May your Holy Spirit guide them. May you, oh God, give them that home that is homely. Mm. May they trust one another in this walk. Mm. When challenges come their way, oh Father, mm. may they not look at one another as a source of that challenge. But may they look up to you because you are their help. Help them, oh God. We pray that you may be with them and continue being with them. For in Jesus Christ we pray and believe. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
it's in order for us to stand and allow the couple now, David and Cecilia Washira. That sounds sweet. <laughs> to now uh, exit at their leisure. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Glory! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.